72 hours ago. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dr. Weaver. Frank. Oh, she'll be back in a few minutes. Have a seat over there. Dr. Weaver. What? Keith Mitchell, I have an appointment to see you. Yeah, we don't make appointments in the ER. Report your complaint to the triage nurse. I believe special arrangements were made by Alderman Wright. Jonathan has nothing but wonderful things to say about you. How long have you been in his office? I uh, started junior year, spring quarter, so about two years. Now I get grad school credit and on-the-job training. He's a great mentor, very generous with his time. Oh, uh, this goes in the buttocks. I'm surprised that you waited so long to be treated. I didn't notice the sore. Jonathan did. When? Two nights ago. I was so embarrassed, I just hoped I didn't give it to him. You didn't have it? Uh, no. I was pretty crazy in my college days. I mean, we're completely monogamous now, but I'd say he was really cool about it. Most people wouldn't be so understanding. Hold on. We all have our past, right? He was looking for you, waiting in chairs. A paramedic brought him in. 125 is Sawyer Medrol, 50 of Benadryl. Stand by with an epidural. Hey, Carrie, do you know this kid? What happened? Passed out across the street. Tight wheezes and hives, barely any breath sounds. You don't happen to know if he has any food allergies, do you? No, I don't. He was looking for you. Sets are dropping, 93, pulse 120. Cords are two edematous. 20 of 800 of socks. Trouble crack tread. Fiber octopus, 702. Okay, one more lucky. You're wasting time. Carrie, you need to let the drugs he needs work. He on the next attempt. So you do know him? He could be allergic to anything, an insect bite or have a carcinoid. He's got an ID from City Hall. Okay, do a Joss rest and keep a good seal when you bag him. You know, I did get some papers from Health and Human Services this morning. Maybe I dropped him off. Okay, suction light source on high, let's go. 